Hi, my name is Terry Sprown. I want to welcome you to my studio. It's our Tuesday night art journal class. I'm so excited that you guys are here to join me. I do have Joe here with me, so he can help me with the questions over on... It's really easy, easier to see most of the comments over on Google+. Plus. I know some of you are coming in over on um, YouTube, but... Thank you. I can only have one up, so I can only read one. If you do, if I do miss a question, you can always ask me on Facebook later. Um, real quick business. Um, while we are waiting for more people to come in, hi Karen, hi Angie, and Mark is here, and Joe's here. <laughs> so I see a few people. I missed a couple names as they scrolled down really quick there. So, anyways, welcome. Um, I am going to be in Ohio on April 25th. God help us. God help <laughs> yes. us. Joe is going to have to put up with me for 17 days. <laughs> 17 days? Yes, yeah, 17 days. Oh, I, I never did that math. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, part of it I am over there in Pittsburgh, so you'll be okay. <laughs> but I am going to teach a class on the 25th at um, Creative Chaos. And I do have that information on my blog, and I would love, love, love to meet you guys. And I do have the samples that I'm going to show you. I'm doing one class, and I might throw a second class in there, so I'm going to let you know here real soon. I'm going to talk to Angela tomorrow. Um, so what else? Oh, I have a really cute project that I'm doing on March 31st. There is a, um, a blog hop on the Chattering Robins blogspot .blogspot com. So check that out. I have a really fun project that I'm doing. I'm really excited about it. I want you guys to see. So um, I'm going to real quickly switch cameras. So that. I'll show you a couple of the, um, the class. This is a class for sure I'm doing on the 25th at um, Creative Chaos. And I apologize, it's a little blurry. I hope it's less than it was earlier. But this is a box. It's a three-dimensional box, as you see. And it's got tea bags inside. It's done with the um, Graphic 45. And it does have this beautiful um, butterfly and flowers and stuff on it. And the butterfly actually comes off. So whoever you give this to, they can actually keep the butterfly, which is kind of fun. And inside, there's some really cute little tea bags. And they all have tea in them. It's a really cute little, um, this, is, this was just really fun. And then I just designed this one, and it's not completely done, but I'm going to show it off anyways. Um, this one is a portfolio, and I just, like I said, I'm not completely done with this yet. But again, this is Graphic 45, and this is a magnet closure. And then you're going to open it up. And inside, this is not complete yet, it's got six cards on this side and six cards on that side, so you have all 12 months. And it's going to be a um, date for you so that you can, um, you know, put your birthday cards or whatever behind it. So each of them, each month will have this little card divider. And then on the back, it says January, and then it says 1 through 31. So if somebody's birthday is on the 15th, you write their name in there. And then you can put the card behind each of the uh, tags in order. So this is not completely done, but that's my little idea. I hope you like it. I think it'll be a fun class. Um, thank you, Joseph. He thinks he's such a character. Oh, hi, Rhonda. Long time no see. Haven't seen you here in a while. Why, so anyways, do, you always, why do you always assume those behaviors come from me? <laughs> I don't have to assume. I know. <laughs> I can't wait. Anybody who's near Ohio, <clears throat> you should visit us when Terry's here because we are going to have a great time. And yeah. I'm the one who's pushing her to teach this as a second class. I think that is spectacular. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking about it. I'm going to call Angela. This is actually, I didn't show this part off. This is actually really pretty. When you open it up, the whole thing, I just love that. Isn't that beautiful? This, as you see, this is very three-dimensional. So, anyways, hope you like it. Let's get down to business because I know that's what you come here for. So watch me play. Okay. I, I'm going to try something tonight. Normally I do test products out or test something out prior to you guys seeing me do it online. 
But I'm not going to tonight. I'm going to try something that I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But we're going to try it anyways. Starters. I have this beautiful stencil. Make sure my book's going the right way. Okay, yeah, this is going towards me. Okay. I have this beautiful stencil. This is um, this is an old stencil, I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think this was um, Creative Imaginations um, stencil from way back when. So I don't think you can find this anymore, but I think um, Crafters Workshop has something similar to this one. And it actually might be theirs, and if it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I blew it. I'm going to use dilutions. So anyways, I got this beautiful um, background. I got some dilutions. Let me get myself a napkin because I want to get this dried off. I want this to be really soft to start with. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Robin. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lynn. So I'm just going to do some quick sprays. And I'm going to use um, dilutions. What is this? Um, lemon zest. This one is Vivid Turquoise. And then the last one is Fresh Lime. So I just want to get some color on there. and again, I want it to be really soft. So I'm going to really quickly go through and tap off a lot of this color. Because I want this background to be real soft. And look how pretty that is already. Real quick reminder, when you're using any type of sprays, I'm not positive this is works, but it's worked for me. I always clean my nib off when I'm done, and I put my cap back on. I do that to all of them. I have had less problems with them clogging and giving me that horrible spray look when I do this. So take the time and do it. It just takes a few seconds. I know we're creative and we don't want to do something like that, but it and helps. You know, Terry, I would add a l another piece of advice. Hmm. Remember I taught the spray class at CHA this year? It was a different brand. It was Clear Snap. But we say commit to the spray. You can't, don't plunge down with your finger just like slow and you'll get big drops and glops and glips. You just got to go pew, pew. Really commit. Push that down fast and hard. Commit to the spray and you'll have much better success. That is a very, very good tip. Thank you, Joseph. Okay. I, my sponsor tonight is a really cool company that I found at CHA. And I hope I pronounced their name right. God, I hope I pronounced their name right. And it's um, Sinsibe. Sinscribe. <laughs> And I what think they Stensib. Stensib. Sten sure. And it's S T E N C I B and that's dot com. They've actually given me a coupon tonight, so I want to show you this awesome stuff. One um their 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 stencils. This particular one that I have on top here is that you can make your own stencil. So they're blank. Um what's different about their stencils, let me start with that, is they're all sticky back. So when you lay it down onto your journal page, you're not going to get that bleedage problem because it's down for you, which is really awesome, I think. Um, and it works, and it doesn't um, take up your paper. See how it just came right up for me, so it doesn't hurt your paper. You can use this on walls. You can use this on, um, and they're big stencils. This one that I'm going to use next is huge. Um, they came. They have this, which I think is really awesome. This is a sheet that you can run through a um, machine and make um, your own stencils with. I would probably think that the Zing would be absolutely perfect for this because the Zing can do a uh, kiss cut. So you can make your own stencils with this. But I want to show you a couple of the designs that they sent me. I love this one. And you should see, as you see, I've used it already. And it's still sticky. I can still reuse it over and over and over. Each package comes with two of those. Uh, this next one I'm showing you in the package because you can't really see it. It's, you know, white. But it's these pretty roses. Love that one. And then the one that I'm using right now 
is this beautiful leaf. So those are the ones that um, I have that I got. And they actually gave me a coupon also. And I'm going to use um, Pam Pastels to do this next technique. Actually, you know what I should do real quick? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Pam Pastels real quick. And I am going to put this beautiful leaf stencil down. And I have a couple colors of uh, green that I'm going to use because I'm going to blend them. That's what's really nice about Pam Pastels is they're very blendable. So I'm going to grab a couple of these greens. So I'm going to put a little green on, grab a little more of this other green. So I don't need to worry really too much about this. And as you know, um, as I talked to you about Pan Pastels in the past, a little goes a long way. You need very little um, chalk or Pan Pastels on your little sponge that they come with to get this beautiful look that you will get. And you don't have to worry about, I was actually going from one color to another. You don't have to worry about ruining your pan pastels as far as mixing or blending the colors. They don't mess up on each other. And this, you don't need to wash it or anything. What you do is when you're done, you take a um, paper towel and you literally just, till you have nothing left on it. And then you can use it again. So obviously I'm not done, so I'm going to go back and get more color. get this beautiful stencil on and I'm gonna come in and get a little bit of blue too and I, again I didn't clean and I didn't ruin my blue I want to show you that I went right in with that green onto that blue no messing it up at all so yeah these stencils are really fun because of the fact that th they are look at that blending I just love that color I'm getting in there by adding that blue So that's what's really nice about Pan Pastels. They really blend really, really nicely and really just pretty. And I'm going to come in. I am going to switch a little bit here and grab some of this yellow. Just get a little bit of highlights in there. Just in a few spots. So look, I put, what, four different colors on that one leaf. And it's just beautifully blended and soft and just, just all kinds of yummy. Okay, I'm going to get these pan pastels off my lap. And then I'm going to pull the stencil up. And look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I like that even better than I thought I would like it. I always like when that happens. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with more pan pastels, but I need this to dry. <clears throat> so... I'm going to grab this bird, and this is a stencil that I got from um, Club Scrap, and that is clubscrap.com, and I'm going to use modeling paste, uh, excuse me, embossing paste, and the reason I'm using embossing paste, honestly, is because it dries the quickest, so since I'm online, we go with the quickest. But you could use um, light molding paste from Golden. You could use um, uh, US Art Quest 101. You could use uh, spack uh, Spackle. Yes, that you get in a um, Home Depot. And I'm just putting a light coat of this on here getting this bird in here and I'm using my palette knife do remember to get your stencil and your palette knife into water or cleaned off when you're done because they do not this stuff does not will stick on here really really heavily you don't want that to happen including your stencil so if I don't have water in my studio I'll, we'll take a baby wipe 
and try to get as much of it off as I can just to preserve that stencil. It will get into the grooves even though that's not a very um, detailed stencil I still don't want it ruined. Okay, so very cool. Now I'm going to let that dry and while I'm letting that dry I was just having way too much fun with those pan pastels so I think I'm going to come in and put some more color in there because I can. Okay. Uh, oh, there they are. Oh, real cute. I forgot to show you this sneak peek. This is that stencil that I just showed you from that company, and this is uh, a sneak peek of what I did with it. Um, see how it worked really well on cloth? Now, don't mess. That's a mess up. It wasn't from the stencil. It was from something falling on it. So I'm going to grab this pink pan pastels again and I'm going to use it right around the edge. It kind of will work also um, pan pastels can work as a distressed. Now we need to talk about that. One of the things that you need to remember when you're working with pan pastels is they don't um, um, seal themselves. So you have to seal them. Also if you're going to work on top of them you need to seal them also because they will pick up like if I went in with water right now it would lift them up and you don't want that you know or, or smear them or you know just not be happy with it so I usually use a workative fixative in between but you do need to seal even if if I was like stopping here I would still need to seal them and you can use any type of finish to seal them even hairspray, but hairspray will yellow over time, so don't use it on a regular basis. If you're desperate, hairspray will work. Okay, I like that. Okay, let me dry that just a little. No, I wasn't sure. Hi, Pam. Hi, Tina. It won't work on the iPhone or the iPad, huh? I didn't know that. I kind of thinking about putting this on here, but I'm not sure now because I'm really liking that background. I don't think I want to put it over that. Ah, you know, I'm not going to do that. Nope. Nope. Liking that too much. Actually, I think I might put that stencil on over here again. I think I like that way too much. So, I'm going to get a little more of it over here, though. So, back with my pan pastels. <laughs> I just love that you don't have to spray the back to make it sticky. I know, isn't that cool? I love that. You didn't remember seeing these guys at uh, CHA, Joe? I was too busy keeping track of you and your drinking. Oh. And, I mean, it was hard. I could hardly sort of show. Oh, my God, guys. You have no idea how hard it is to keep track of Joe at these shows. I mean, I can't get from one end of the show with, to the other without having to stop because somebody needs to talk to Joe. <clears throat> and Terry is good at keeping me from spending money. Yes, when when but he gets away from me. And when he gets away from me, man, he spends way too much money. You know he what did make... What did they say in that movie Hello Dolly? Money money is like manure. It doesn't do any good unless you spread it around. <laughs> I love that movie. Again, I'm going to throw the blue in there. I'm I'm mixing all the colors just like I did before because it was just so pretty. I think this would be really pretty on a pair of jeans. Uh, let me grab that real quick on that yellow too. This is kind of a greenish yellow anyways. So it kind of just getting some real quick highlights right on the edge. I'll show you. It's kind of it's almost a scary yellow. It's this one right here. 
I think it's called it's called bright yellow green. Like I said, it's kind of a weird color. And it's not one that I would normally pick up, I think. I would have not bought it. Um, but I got it in a class. And I kind of grown to like it. Okay, the pan pastels off. And look at that. And again, that's still sticky. And I can just roll it back up and keep using it. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, guys. Do you see how many, how much is on here? So even when this one goes bad, there's probably, I don't even know how many there is on here. There's got to be quite a few. So I'll be using that stencil for a while. So pretty. Okay. Oh, I like you. Just cleaning off my hands because they're full of pan pastels. Let's see if this is... I want to dry that just a little more. And because it's embossing paste, as you know, it dries pretty quickly. That's why I use it on the show. Now, at this point, this is like a raised bird. And I want to use gelatos to make him pretty. I'm going to put him towards me just a little bit here so I can work a little bit. Hopefully that's dry enough for me to work. I don't think it is. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. So I'm going to work over here. My idea for tonight, and I forgot all about starting this. Let me talk to you about how I came up with this idea for this page tonight. Some, I get a lot of you guys who um, contact me during the week, and one of the questions, and I've gotten this question a couple times, and I think I need to finally address it. People have told me that they really love what I do and the art journaling and how much fun it is, but when they sit down, the only thing that comes to their mind is negative stuff. And I totally understand that because we all have days like that or months like that or weeks like that or even sometimes years like that. Um, and how do you address that? You know, how do you sit down and make something pretty when you're having negative things coming out of you? So what I've been telling, what I've told these ladies who have come to me is the first thing I would do is sit down when I grab my journal, and this would be, you know, I'd have it towards me, and I'd just start writing. And I'd use probably a pencil or a light, um, light black pen, and I would just write all of that negativeness that's coming out of my heart. And just get it out. And just keep writing. Get it all out onto your journal. And then I told them, once you have it all out, and even if you need to keep going, like say I filled it up all the way this way, start writing this way. You know, just keep writing until you just, you've got it all out and on this, um, this sheet and, you know, it's all just there. And then take gesso. And we've talked about gesso before. Gesso is a primer. And paint over that. If you used a really dark color and you're still feeling dark, paint it black gesso. You know, just get it over with. So my lesson tonight is to set yourself free. That's the whole thing of what I want to talk about. So that's why there's the bird. And over here, I'm going to do a hand drawn of a cage. Because we all tend to put ourselves in a cage every once in a while. And this is your... This is what I want to tell you to get yourself out of that cage and set yourself free. So I'm just really quickly doing a real simple bird cage. And what I'm using is a pencil called um, Stabros. S T A R, no, S T A B I L O. And you can get these at Dick Blicks. And what I like about this pencil is what I'm going to show you here in a minute. So I'm just, again, real quickly drawing myself a birdcage. What's nice about this particular pencil is when you use a um, water with it, it activates the pencil and kind of gives you what I'm going to call a painter's look. Like you painted it instead of penciled it on. 
and I know that some of you feel more comfortable with a pencil over a paintbrush. So this would be a really cool thing to get. And I usually get these at Dick Blicks. And I go to DickBlicks.com and I'll buy like five or six of them at a time. So that way I have them. Because they're really soft leads. They do tend to, um, the lead tends to break easily. <laughs> so that's another reason to have multiples around. I also have a coupon for you guys tonight while I'm doing that. So grab a piece of paper, and that's for that company that I just showed you with the really cool stencils, and that is S T E N C as in Charlie, I as in idea, and B as in boy. Again, that's S T E N C I B dot com. That's the company. And now I want you to notice this. You see this? Let me see if I can come in a little cl closer. Hold on. I'm going to start using, I have just a thin paintbrush with just a little water on it. And see how, as you add the water to it, how it makes it look like you've painted that line. See the difference? It's subtle, but it's a really cool effect. Coupon code. Are you ready? Coupon code is for 15% off the website, which I just gave you. S-T-E-N-C-I-B dot com. And the code is 317. And it's good for the whole month of March. So go check out their stencils. And they have other stuff over there too, but their stencils are really cool. They've got some um, really nice, when I was on their website today, I noticed that they had these really cool um, paint kind of brushes with a sponge on them. That would be really easy to do for if you were working on um, a large item. So you could like roll it on, roll the paint on through the stencil. See the difference where I'm getting there so it looks like it's painted? So that's what this little pencil does. And just some simple, simple water. We have quite a few people in the room tonight. Thank you. feel so honored. I just did um, also, I know a lot of you come and watch me live, but over on my YouTube channel, I just put up a really fun video on how to make 3D flowers. So go check that out. That's a really fun video to watch using the Robin's Nest products. For also for you guys who are back east, is it Joe, you're going to Art Escape. Is it this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? <coughs> oh, I am. Art Escape, um, an artist gathering, is in Dublin, Ohio, this weekend. <clears throat> There's classes, I think, start on Thursday, maybe, or even Wednesday. Classes uh, from even international teachers. Jen Crosley's here from Australia. Um, I think Mary Beth Shaw is here. Magdalena Muldoon is here. So we're all teaching, and then Friday night is a private trade show just for attendees. The trade show then is also all day Saturday. There's a fee to get in, but if you print out my email or show the email from Create and Craft on your phone, then you get in for free. And then Sunday, instead, and that trade show on Saturday is mostly supplies. So Create and Craft will be there. We have 25 different styles of shrines from Coffee Break Design. We have Earth Art International stamps. We have La Blanche stamps, uh, U.S. Art Quest products. Sunday, the trade show switches from art supplies to finished art from all the teachers who are teaching and they're, it's just amazing work so it's called um, Art Escape and Artist Gathering and if you want to get an email from me with a free ticket to get in um, just send me a note on Facebook with your email address and I'll forward you that email perfect and I'm teaching uh, two classes oh fun Pixie in the Bottle everybody's seen our Pixie in the Bottle oh I love Pixie in the Bottle hold on Joe let me put you over now show it. Go ahead. 
Am I showing? Yes, you're showing. So this little pixie sits inside a glass bottle, and she decorates her home with all found objects, found jewelry, and you make a little one-inch mini book that tells her story. And then we're also doing a Graphic 45 book using topography paper. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. So those are the two classes I'm teaching. Plus, my whole team will be there. We'll be staffing our booth. Thank you, Joseph. So what I'll I've post been... the link in, uh, Facebook, in uh, the Google Hangout. Perfect. I have been, while well, you guys have been talking, been just playing with gelatos, and I'm basically coloring in that... Um, look blurry. I'm coloring in that bird. I am not dry perfectly on his face, so I'm having a little bit of problems here. It's not completely dry, but I'm basically taking the gelatos and using my finger and kind of blending them in the best I can under the circumstances of not having that completely dry. But let's see what happens here. I'm going to put the stencil back on, and I'm going to take some paint to it. So I'll get my paintbrush cleaned off. And actually, this will blend in with the gelatos because the gelatos, um, gelatos are water-based. So since I am using paint, paint or acrylic paint it does have water in it. It will blend with that behind it, which is kind of cool. There we go. And I'm still going to go in with gelatos on top of that. Can you see that? I know it's a little blurry. But see how it picked up the uh, gelatos below it? You can see where the blue and the purple mixed a little. Okay. Let me dry that a little more. Really like my cage. Okay, I want to grab some stickers. Now you could use stickers, you could use, um, you know, uh, stamps, whatever you want to get your wording in the background. I think I'm going to go with that color. And I'm going to say, set yourself free. That is my theme for tonight. So let me put it here. I think I'm going to do set, set yourself free and free down here. So let's put the free in. I never know exactly how it's going to turn out because I don't know where I put everything <laughs> when I start these pages. So yes. So yes, definitely that was my lesson for tonight was setting yourself free. Now I do need to still seal this and I do go over my stickers with um, gel medium okay Looks like I'm just barely not gonna have room there all right I hate when that happens now so because you said that Terry I have that song in my head what's that song set me free and put me in your arms or something now I can't get that out of my head <laughs> is there a song like that I don't know that song off the top of my head. You keep me hanging on. You could be right, though. Somebody now, out I, there knows. I am going to spray real quick, but I do have my fan on. And I just sprayed a um, workative fixative right there real quick. And then what I didn't do, which I should have, is actually work backwards so that I make sure I have enough room for my free. <laughs> You know how it is. Do what I say, not as I do. And like I said, I would um, definitely go in and do the uh, 
gel medium over these letters. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Set me free. I'm thinking of rescue me. <laughs> rescue me. <laughs> and put me in your arms, wrist. Excuse me. Oh, yes, that's um, Donna Summers, isn't it? I don't know, but I don't even... It sounded like Set Me Free. <laughs> Although your page makes me feel like that Farrell song, you know, because I'm happy. <laughs> you must know the happy song. The happy song, yes. Everybody knows the happy song. You should sing it for us. No, 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 trust me. You keep trying to get me to sing, and you really don't know how bad I am. You know, when, oh, when I've I heard you in the shower at the hotel room, honey. Let me <laughs> then you should know better. So I'm using, um, again, I'm going over top of the paint with some gelatos, just getting more and more color in there and just, just making him a happy bird. And I'm just using my fingers to blend it out, but you definitely could come in with a little water and blend it out a little bit too. which is quite pretty. Needs more green in him. Oh, I really, really like the way this is turning out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What time is it? Okay, we have plenty of time. We're doing good. Oh, I like him. We're going to have to do something with his eye, though. We're going to have to make that eye come out. Okay. Um, set set yourself free. Okay, so let's go with set. Oh, did I not spray up there? I didn't. Shoot. Hold on. Now, Rhonda does not know the happy song from Farrell. Rhonda, you have to Google happy song. Farrell, I think it's P-H-A-R-R-E-L. And it's so sweet, and it'll get in your head, and it just doesn't come out. It's like a parasite. But it's a yeah, really, Lee, really good song. Lee was right, Diana's, Diana, Diana Ross, yeah, from the Supremes. Oh, I'm too young to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's E.T. We all know how wonderful I am at spelling. Set. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to put yourself in. Um, I'm going to write it out, I think, right there. Okay, now those letters are kind of blending into the background, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to use the, um, the pencil again, the... Um, Stale Stabrillo, Stabrillo pencil, and again you can get this at um, Dick Blix, and it automatically kind of gives you that shadowy look around your letters. So again, I'm just real quickly just drawing around the letters, and then my plan. Let me zoom in for you guys there. Okay, so see how I just did the S, and then you go in with a little bit of the water again, and just go around those letters. Just get that to blend. Now make sure if you use the um, the gelatos and or the pan pastels that you've sealed in between putting the water on, because if I didn't, then that's going to start activating that below it or even the um, dilutions because it would um, activate the dilutions also because as you know the dilutions are water-based and the only way to stop them from running and doing their little thing is to do some fixative on there but remember if you want to work on top of your fixative on top of your um, spray that you have to have a workative fixative it really does make a difference. Now I'm not going to do all these letters because you, but you get the idea. See how instantly I've got a shadow going around them and now they're starting to come out and they're not blending in like that T is. 
Terry, you're missing in the comments. They're all posting Motown lyrics and including "Set Me Free." Why don't you, babe? And I, I'm I'm going to be I'm gonna have to going to have to bust a move or something. Pretty you're going to be just, nobody's I mean, sleeping I'm, tonight. Oh, nobody's sleeping tonight because all oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to put on a special outfit and start dancing. <laughs> It's those disco days. Oh, speaking of that, you guys, did you see the disco um, Staying Alive from the Firemen that I posted on Facebook? OMG. That was so funny. The firemen are doing, um, uh, they did a flash mob to Staying Alive. If you haven't seen that, you must go over to my Facebook page and see that. I'm going to do Round the Bird also, just to make him stand out a little more. I'm going to do something with his eye, too. Oh. Oh. This is an old, 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 old product. Um, kind of daughterific. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was EK Success like 100 years ago. Sorry, EK Success. Um, back in the scrapbooking days. But it's a fun tool because it makes perfect dots. So I just used the thin side to do his um, his little eyeball. Well, there we go. See how that brought him out using that pencil? So I'm definitely going to go around that letter. And I want to do yourself. Set yourself free. Is that dry enough? Yeah, let me dry that real quick before I put my arm on it. And again, if you don't feel comfortable doing your own handwriting, you can definitely, um, you know, use a stamp. Or so. You know, you know, do your own thing, and I'm going to come in and make that a little darker also, so that'll stand out a little more. Now, I wanted to play with Timmy's new toy tonight. I want to make some splatters. So, let's see, what am I going to make splatters with? I think we should be very careful talking about Timmy's new toy. <laughs> You think Mario might get upset with me? <laughs> well, I just think we just need to, you know, keep it above board here. Just try to keep okay, it Okay, okay. I'll try to be good. You're never, that's no fun. I'm going to use, uh, what is this one called? Chipped Sapphire. Now, although this is Tim Holtz's new product, you know, I'm told that Stamp, uh, Stampin' Up! has had it for years, and artists have had them for 20 years. Oh, yeah, and, and I have to admit, um, Tim actually did say that this, is not been, this has been around for a while, and you can take any type of marker that you want. You don't have to use Tim's Distress Markers, and you line the nib and the, the end of the bottle here, I guess you want to say, up about halfway and it should give me really cool splatters and you hold it upright not this way you hold it upright and it's supposed to just give you some cool splatters uh, either my pens suck or I'm getting very little splatters I'm not getting a whole lot as much as I'd like. You have so. to pump it harder. Pump it harder. <laughs> have to you talk have to my husband about that. Oh yeah, it is working a little better if I pump harder. Pump harder, and you have to you have to give some sound effects with it. <laughs> Joseph, that's your job to do the sound effects. Uh, 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 oh, 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 you're gonna get us in trouble. So. I'm going, you know, I'm going to post a link in the comments area for a video for Mrs. Brown's orgasm. Oh, if Mrs. Brown is hilarious. Oh, you're going to love this one with her orgasm. I'm going to post oh. it in the comments area so I people want to see it. it. Okay, I'm going to take gelatos, 
and I'm going to put them directly, or white gelato directly onto my, maybe I should use black, um, Teflon sheet here. I'm going to get it very wet. No comment from the peanut gallery. Luckily, the peanut gallery has his um, his his mute off. I'm still recovering from all the pumping. <laughs> I think the white might be too soft. In the comment window on Hangouts, I put a link to Mrs. Brown's orgasm. You got to put it on my Facebook page too, so I see it later. I think the white might be too soft because it's not really showing up. Okay. Maybe we should go purple. Oh, Barbara joined us. Welcome, Barbara. Better late than never. Barbara Rankin. Very cool. We love Barbara. I hear you guys are trying to get me to come to, what is it, Memphis? So I decided to switch to purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, much better. So, Robin wants to warn you, be careful how you squeeze Timmy's new toy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm just telling you what Robin said. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. I appreciate you having my back there. So what I did is I took um, the gelatos and I put it on my Teflon sheet and add a lot of water to it. Then you can take your brush and you can get really cool splatters. So I got really cool splatters. Now I went with the purple because the white just wasn't showing up, which was my original thought. But that's okay. Hmm. Need to. I think I want to fill this in a little more. So I'm just putting a few more lines into the bottom of my cage here just to give it a little more dimension. Grabbing a wet paintbrush again softening those lines or making them look like paint. See how that does? I just love the way that works. That pencil works. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I think I'm really liking that. The only thing I think I have left to do is my um, yourself is really, really light there. So I've got to come in and make this bigger and bolder. So, this is not bold enough. So, I'm continuing. I'm, I'm using the pencil this time, but I might come in. Oh, this is kind of cool. While I'm talking to you guys, I am going to Prima this weekend. Their warehouse is open two days a month, so I'll be jealous that I'm going to go see Prima. I will post uh, pictures on my wall um, Saturday morning, so watch for that. I also have a winner for tonight. The winner needs to, um, how you win is you join my group on Facebook called All Things Terry Sproul, and then you can post your photos of the pages that you are inspired by mine. Inspired does not mean they have to be exactly like mine. It means that you, you know, have fun and you do something that you kind of like that's similar to mine. Um, and you post them in there and you can be entered to win. Every single person who puts a page on, no matter how many pages, and this week, oh my god, you guys are catching up. I think we had 22 entries for this week on the um, All Things Terry Sproul. So every single page you put up puts you into the entry. And this week we actually had a brand new um, winner. I don't pick by my favorite page or anything. I honestly put you into random.org. I sign you all a number and I put you into random.org. I ran around the edges with gelatos, again, just to bring that page in. And this week's winner is Tamiko, T-A-M-I-K-O, McCurry, M-C-C-U-R-R-Y. 
if you can get a hold of me on Facebook and give me your address, I have something that I can send to you. Well, our latest commentary, Rhonda wanted to point out that looks like Timmy's new toy doesn't work all that great. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that out loud, but I'm not real impressed with it either. It didn't Wait a minute. Me... So can I just record, say it again, you're not impressed with Timmy's tool. <laughs> Timmy's tool did not impress me. <laughs> no matter how much you pumped, it just did not live up to expectations. This did not give me what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, so you know, disappointing. <laughs> so disappointing. We just hate disappointment. And again, I'm just going over and putting more layers on top of my bird here. Just, just, I mean, just having fun. Just, and I've got like three or four colors going on him. And it's just, look at that. He's really turning out pretty cool. Now I think I do want to get like an orange or a yellow or something for his beak. So, and I don't have that on my desk, so give me just a quick second. I'm going to sneak behind the curtain back here. And grab an orange. And I did post Mrs. Brown's Orgasm, which is a BBC, a segment from a BBC show on your All Things Terry Sproul page. Oh my God! The the one um what was it the one the other day about when she had gas? Oh God, <laughs> that was just hilarious. It's funny because I saw that and I immediately was reminded of when we shared that hotel room. I thought, oh God. <laughs> yeah, the night that we went to the um to the one one restaurant. Which one was that? The um uh, oh God, um at the hotel in Vegas. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. It was both of us. We were. Totally sick. Oh, I don't believe so. Oh, look at my bird. Tell him fit. Isn't oh, she the bird's beautiful? cute? Isn't she turning up cute? Now, I do got to do something, though, because the bird just can't float there. I have a problem with, uh, you know, it's funny. Back in the scrapbooking days, I was the same way. I hated what I called sticker sneezes. And that was back in the day when we all, um, we had, all we had was stickers when we scrapbooked. And we take, and we'd put a few pictures on the page, and then we'd just take stickers and just stick them everywhere. I called it a sticker sneeze. I thought it was the horriblest thing we used to do. And, and I used to remind my students when I used to teach scrapbooking that don't let things float. The only things that can float is a cloud, is a, um, um, what can float? A cloud can float, a balloon can float. Those type of things can float. Um, even technically a bird can float. But you see what I did real quickly? Real simply, took my pencil and just went in and got some, um, put a, put a um, branch below him. And instantly, he now is grounded. And that's important. I used to tell my students that you always ground your items. So, and that includes scrapbooking and even art journals. Don't let it float, as I used to call it. Ground it. So that simple little stem grounded that bird down so that he isn't floating anymore. And it looks more realistic. And again, I'm going to keep going around my letters down here because they're just kind of blending into the background. And I want them to stand out. So simple taking. And you don't have to use this pencil because I've taught you guys how to use... Um, you know, a marker, a black marker, or remember, I've also talked to you about doing a white marker. But I just wanted to show you this little cool pencil thing. I got turned on to this not too long ago, this really cool pencil. So I had to turn you guys on to it. So instantly those letters came out. And it's super easy to get the letters wet around them. It's literally just have to go like, you know, you don't even have to be neat. Perfect. Okay, I'm really liking that. So set yourself free. Oh, you got your prize on Saturday? Good, Rhonda. Good, good, good. I'm glad when you guys get your prizes. Every once in a while they get lost in the mail. That's so frustrating to me. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Remember that I will have to seal this one more time. 
um, I will use either the workative fixative or I'll use just a finish just to get a, um, a final seal on it because um, even the the graphite pencil is technically not sealed and if this got wet that could start running even though you know I doubt it would you know I'm not planning on doing getting it wet but things happen as you know so definitely seal that when you're done I'm going to change back cameras if anybody nobody has any questions I probably need to oh it's not too bad and no questions how large are the stencils that comes in the in the two packs um, they come in different sizes this particular the flower one it looks like it's about an eight and a half the flower one looks like it's about an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper this one is a little bigger because this is an eight and a half by sheet by eleven so see it's a little longer so it looks like it's about a twelve inch long by maybe ten the sheets that you run through your um, die cut machine are eight and a half by eleven this stencil right here again came on a roll and it's a continuous roll it just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling off here um, so it can be pretty long as you can tell um, but you could cut it and it's not that wide I would say that's about about 10 inches 8 inches 9 inches across about 9 oh inches my. across Yes, Pam Pastels. Pam Pastels are a little pricey too for you guys who, you know, don't own them yet. Um, Dick Blix seems to be the best price to find them. Thank you for putting up that website, Joe. You know, Terry, maybe we should see if people want to do a pre-order of Pam Pastels at a ridiculously good price. That's we a good, good idea. Up. We could do that. Yeah. Well, how about we look into that and then we can get back to them. Mm -hmm. How do you guys like that? Maybe be able to get you some Pam Pastels for a good price. We have connections, you know. <laughs> be a really good price if they would sing "Set Me Free" and record it. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. And and the larger, I think, the more right, Joe. The more we can order, the cheaper we can get them. Probably true. Yes. Yeah. So the more of you guys who are willing to um, order them, you can get. Um, let me do a couple suggestions. <laughs> I like these trays a lot. I'm going back to the other camera. I really like these trays. It really does make it a lot easier. So if you can buy a set, um, the first set I got was this was like part of this. It had the red, the blue, the black, the yellow. Um, it was part of this one. And then this is the new metallic set right here which is absolutely beautiful and I slowly been adding them to them but these trays are really nice if not they come like this and they screw one on top of the other so you get them like this and these are like six bucks for just one they're kind of pricey but they're really soft they come in a lot of colors um, and like I said I would strongly suggest the tray I think they really do make a difference and make it easier for you to work if you buy a kit like this they send you um, some of the tools they'll send you one of these with um, its own nib so this gives you really small areas they usually send you one of these and then I think I got one or one or two of these also so you'll get multiple tools in it you can use um, makeup sponges I don't think they work quite as nice as this soft tool that they have but you know, if you're on a budget, you're on a budget. I totally get it. Use makeup sponges. So I hope that answered your questions on Pam Pastels and what to do there. Help you a little better price. So we'll see what we can do for you guys on that too, on Facebook. They, <laughs> they do look like giant eyeshadows. They do. Can you join your secret discount club, Joe and Terry? Ron, I no think I've used it as an eyeshadow in an emergency situation. 
<laughs> you probably could, except for again, it doesn't have any binding agent in it. So and it, I love to be bound. Let me tell you. Oh wait a minute, different topic. <laughs> wrong webinar. Different, Ooh, sorry. different subject, Mr. Joseph. <laughs> oh my God. So again, remember, inside there's no inside voice. Binding. Inside voice. Inside voice. <laughs> yes, inside voice, Joseph. There's no binding agent in these, so they do not seal. Oh, Joseph, I like does. it when you call me Joseph. Oh, you've never done that before. <laughs> Big gut, Joseph. I like my page. Now, can you tell how much fun we're going to have for 17 whole days? <laughs> so come join us. I'm come expecting to be an alcoholic by the end of the trip. I'm hoping to pump some alcohol into you by the end of the trip. <laughs> I've seen plan. your pumping skills this evening. I don't think it's going to go well. I'm bringing it. Doubtful. Oh, you're bringing it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we should do a retreat. We should. Oh, also, that's a good reminder. Um, in August, I actually am doing something in California. Wasn't that subtle? I thought I handled that well. You did. <laughs> you go away. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you all go. No, you have to tell them about your retreat, Dingo. That's uh, why I brought it up. Okay, oh. August. August 29th, I believe it is, and 30th in California. It's actually in, um, it's called Bellflower area, which is kind of in between um, Disneyland and L.A., so it's right in that area, so you could definitely make a trip out of it. It's a two-day class. <coughs> it's only $75, um, and all your supplies will be included. And it's going to be all on um, color theory. And I'm going to be working with a really cool company called Earth Safe Finishes. And we're going to be working with this kit and working with how to make your own colors. So it's a color theory kit um, class. And you will be doing art journals. So we will do all kinds of art journal classes and it will all be based on art um, color theory. So. There's my pitch. So if you're interested in that or the class in Ohio, let me know. It would thrill me to no end to sell that class out in Ohio with all of you guys and meet most of you. Just and then you'd have money to pay for your stay at my house. Yeah. Do you believe he's charging his wife to come out? Do you believe this crap? Some people. <laughs> I'm worth it. Look, so, I don't guys, come to my that class. Song? If you love it, put a ring on it or something. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> okay guys. Love you all. Bye. Oh, stop.